this size mould is fine for any aggregates up to 20 millimetres. If you're making concrete with bigger aggregates, you need a 150 mould um, rather than the 100. But most people use up to 20 mil, so most cubes are made like this with 100 mil. So what we do is get a sample of our concrete, and this mould we're going to fill it in 50 mil layers. So we'll half fill it, and then we'll tamp it, and then we'll put the rest in and tamp it. If you're doing 150 cubes, again, fill it in 50 mil layers. So you have three layers rather than two layers, because it's a bigger cube. So, about half full. And now then, the tamping bar is the right shape and the right weight for doing this job. That's why it's designed like this. It gets into the corners, you see because you want to make sure the corners are compacted well. In fact, the whole cube needs to be compacted well. So what you're trying to do is, you're trying to force all the air out of this concrete, you're trying to get the air out of it and make sure it's fully compacted. So, a minimum of 25 Tamps. prods. And you can do more, but no less than 25. On a 150 mould, it's 35, okay? So it's a bigger mould, so you do more tamps, but 25 on the 100. So, and it, it's not sort of little dabs, it's giving some stick, because you're trying to force this down, make it solid. So, make sure you get into the corners, and really, get that air out of it. You can see when you start working this concrete how the fat comes up. So that's your first layer done. Now we'll top it up. This gets quite difficult with um, high slope concrete like this because it tends to splurge all over the place. So your next series of tamps yeah, you can't be quite as bad as you were the first time because it's spray everywhere. So you've got to sort of be a little bit quieter. But at the same time, concentrate on getting the corners properly filled and make sure you to keep the material in the mould because it tends to squeeze it out. You put too much in so it squeezes it out. But what you're trying to do is squash it down. See it go down, push it back in again, and again, just try and get as much concrete in that mould as you can. So we're going to now screen that off, get rid of the excess. So, there's your cube with your concrete in it. Now, try some of the drier stuff as well. Um, but that cube now we want to keep it damp. So put some wet cloth or sacking over it to keep the moisture in it. And put a plastic bag over it to stop the wind drying it out. Just keep it moist. Uh, keep it warm and demold it the next day. Um, yeah. Stick our piece of paper in the So that's all there is to making a cube. Um, it's not difficult, but do it in the same way every time and try and get the same person to do it. You will find different people do slightly different jobs. So uh, if you can get the same person to do it all the time, it's good.